F-111C, while quite similar to the United States Air Force Tactical Air Command's F-111A, has the additional seven-foot wingspan and strengthened landing gear that mark the SAC FB-111A. Cockpit arrangements in the F-111C crew area are the same as in the F-111A, with the exception that the right-hand flight control stick is removable. The RAAF crew member in the right seat will function as the bombardier, weapon system operator, navigator, and radar observer. The 24 F-111C aircraft are now at the Fort Worth facility undergoing modification. At the completion of this work, the 24 F-111C aircraft will be flown to Australia by RAAF crews. There they will become a major source of strength in the contribution of the free world's defense in that southeast area. The first production F-111E, manufacturing sequence number 160, entered final assembly in February 1969. It is the production break-in point for an improved engine inlet called Triple Plow 2. The fundamental feature of Triple Plow 2 is improved handling of the boundary layer flow approaching the inlet. Compared to the Triple Plow 1 inlet of F-111A numbers 31 through 159, the engine inlet is nearly four inches further outboard, thereby minimizing the ingestion of low energy air from the fuselage boundary layer. Like triple plow one, triple plow two uses low angle ramps or plows to divert much of the boundary layer around the inlet, thus minimizing the internal drag associated with ducting boundary layer flow through the airplane. The triple plow two boundary layer system has proved so effective that the splitter plate previously needed to constrain the fuselage boundary layer has been deleted with attendant savings in weight and drag. The new inlet provides roughly 10% increase in cowl minimum flow area. The enlarged cowl accommodates the higher TF-30 P-12 or P-7 engine airflows as well as the P-3 and still has moderate margin for further growth in airflow. Concurrent with the enlargement of the cowl, the previous cowl translation system has been replaced by cowl blow-in doors. These are free-floating, eliminating the hydraulic pneumatic or electrical actuation required for cowl translation, plus the attendant control and warning systems. In ground and takeoff or landing operation, the doors float open as the engine pulls the inlet duct pressure below ambient, thus admitting additional air of relatively high energy.
404, Marshall 170, 23, Angel 8, expect push 9, 3, 2, push 15. 404, Marshall 1, 170, 23, Angel 8, 15, uh, push 9, 2, 2. Four zero two expected approach time three two. Question four zero four expected approach time three two. Four zero four that be three two not two two three two. Four zero four read back correct. Nine nine take overhead mother angel seven. Four zero two squawk seven one four two. Four zero two squawk seven one four two. Four zero four squawk seven one four three. Seven one four three. Five zero two squawk seven one five three. Marshall 301 and 300 check in. Marshall 301. 301 for your Marshall. Okay, for your recovery, see if you want to approach your second tunnel bearing 331. Also, there's 3001. 301, Marshall 170, 24 Angels Niner. Second start time 33, approach bus 17, and time 18. 301, Marshall 170, 24 Angels Niner. Take the long way.